abstract. Other genres of art cater to the abstract, so why not street photography? Let's face it, there's not always an abundance of material when we are pounding the streets and we can struggle to find subject matter. But wherever we are, there's always something to shoot, even if it's an abstract. Here are five abstract ideas for you to try now. Night lights. Shoot out of focus lights at night with a wide aperture. This could be distant street lights, storefronts or a bar or restaurant. To make sure the lights are blurred, focus manually on something that's roughly 2 feet or 60 centimeters away. You can simply hold your hand out at arm's length in front of the camera and focus on that. Intentional camera movement. Deliberately move the camera during the exposure to create blurred trails. Experiment with different shutter speeds and the speed at which you move the camera. Shoot through a screen. Use a semi-opaque surfaces, net curtains, plastic sheeting or anything else that you can shoot through and distort the scene. Reflection in puddles. Look for shapes, colors and patterns reflecting in puddles. It's usually best when the water is still, but you can get some interesting effects with ripples as well. Try using a wide-angle lens and position your camera close to the ground to create a dramatic reflected urban landscape. Shoot through wet windows. The combination of cold outside air and warm interiors usually means condensation on windows, which can make a great abstract. Try focusing on water droplets on the window and let the subjects in the background fall out of focus. You can treat each of these five ideas as separate assignments and produce a set of between four and six images on each theme. This could look great as a set of posters or framed prints. Technique and tips. Try shooting abstracts in both color and black and white. Experiment lots and be prepared to try masses of combinations before you get it right. If you're putting a set of pictures together, don't mix up the styles too much. Keep the same size and aspect ratio and use either color or monochrome, not both. Hello beautiful people and thank you for sticking to the end of the video. Now you get to see the results of my hard hard labor. Not really, because these are from the archive. I've been collecting them for the past two or three years and abstract photography is not something I do that often, but sometimes it happens and it looks cool, so it's cool. But it's not something that I would go out of my way to practice, because it's really hard to practice abstract art. It's just my opinion. Since they were collected uh, for the past two or three years, I had different styles, different editing options, different editing styles, I mean. So I decided to unify them and make them black and white, add a lot of grain, make them a little bit more abstract. So I hope you like them. Uh, if you do, comment. If you don't, comment anyways. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Ah, uh, sick Just man. Light, yeah. What what camera is this? This Fujifilm. Nice. Cheers. Let's get, let's get.